Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be eyeshadow palettes that I am decluttering. This is not gonna be a huge declutter because I'm only getting rid of a few things, but if you want to see the items that I'm keeping, a few months ago I did post an eyeshadow palette collection. I will link that in the description box. Also, in the last few months, I did a highlighter declutter, a blush, and also lipstick declutters. So I will link those also if you do want to see those. Those were the kind where I actually went through my collection one by one and showed you what I'm keeping. But I have so many eyeshadow palettes that, you know, if I'm only getting rid of a few, it doesn't really make sense to do that. Most of these I'm going to give to my mom because she is recently kind of getting into makeup. So I thought some of these would be fun for her to play with. One of these items that just straight up doesn't work for me, but everything else I do like. I just don't really use it and I have similar things. If you're interested in the makeup I'm wearing, I'll link that in the description box also. And yeah, let's just get started. I'm actually going to talk about two single eyeshadows that I'm getting rid of. So I've been on a low buy all year if you've been watching my channel. And I said that I could buy eight eyeshadow palettes for the year and two like single potted eyeshadows. And so far I've bought six palettes, which for me is so much less than in the years past. So I'm really proud of myself. And I've bought only one eyeshadow in a pot like this. And sadly, I'm getting rid of it. This is the Believe Shadow in Heads or Tails. This is from Dollar General. This is $4. This is such a beautiful color. It's gorgeous. I've talked about this in other videos, but unfortunately, this creases so badly on my eyes. No matter what I do, I used my Milani Eye Primer, which works with all my other eyeshadows. And I've tried it a multitude of times, many different ways, and I don't want to spend money on another product to make a $4 eyeshadow work. That just makes no sense to me. I have 80-something eyeshadow palettes, which are fantastic, so there's no point trying to save a $4 eyeshadow. This next one I just don't really use a lot. It's from Ofra. It's a loose eyeshadow in Smoky Pearl. This is actually something I got in PR from them. I think like two years ago or a year and a half ago, and it's like a really dark, like navy gray loose eyeshadow. It's actually very pretty, but these kind of loose eyeshadows, these are high maintenance. This is a lot of work. I have amazing eyeshadow palettes and yeah. So these like single little shadows like this, I just don't tend to reach for them a lot. I do have two that I'm keeping. Um, I have two Bobbi Brown single potted eyeshadows. Those are amazing and I'm keeping those but I'm trying not to really buy those. I thought this would be like something cool or special, but it just like did not work out. So that was unfortunate, but yeah. So in my collection now, I only have two like eyeshadows in a pot left. I do have single shadows that are magnetic in magnetic palettes. Those I just count in with my palettes in my inventory. Um, but yeah, I'm not getting rid of any of those. All right, like I said, only a few eyeshadow palettes I'm getting rid of, but the first one, this one I really like. It's a good palette. Um, it's the ColourPop Meant To Be, and I did review this on my channel when it first came out. My issue with it is, is it's so monochromatic. Like all you can do is like a minty green or minty blue look, which I like, but those are just, well, I'm actually wearing one today, but I'm not wearing this palette. I'm wearing the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. And yeah, I guess I think this is good, but the formula could be better. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like some of the ColourPop palettes that I have that are older than this, like the So Jaded, are a bit better quality. This one's really powdery, so there's tons of fallout, which is fine because I do my eyes first. But again, my issue is just, I don't wear these kind of colors a lot and I have them in other palettes. Like I said, I have the Zendo and I have several other eyeshadow palettes with a few minty greens. So I don't know. I try to avoid these kind of palettes now. This is definitely a lesson learned. I do have the Lilac You A Lot, which is an all purple palette, and I like that one quite a bit. I am much more likely to, to wear purple eyeshadow over minty eyeshadow. So that one I think made more sense for me to purchase, but I, it's just something I'm learning about myself is I personally enjoy palettes that have a bit more variety of colors, you know, one that you can get different looks out of. I feel like I could use this palette 20 times and all 20 looks would probably look about the same. So, you know, I'm just learning and I have to say that I've done well with that. I have learned my lesson and I don't buy these kind of palettes anymore. I haven't bought one in a very long time. This year, I haven't bought any like smaller monochromatic palettes. Cause like I said, I'm just, I'm learning my preferences and I think that that's important. 
I'm getting rid of two Ofer palettes that I just don't use that much. I am gonna keep one, the Glitch palette. I love that one. That one is really good. This one, I have to say, was a bit disappointing. This is the Signature Palette in Galaxy. Um, I do think some of these shadows lack a bit of pigmentation. Beautiful purples. So this is one of their highlighters in the shade Neptune. But I have this in an individual highlighter compact, so I don't need to keep it for this. Um, I just feel like these purples, I don't know, it's not a bad palette, but I thought that since this is not like crazy pigmented purples that I could give this to my mom. I'd like to try a bit more of a colorful look on her. I've only tried like very neutral looks on her, so I thought it'd be fun to do something a bit more fun, see if she likes it, but they, they're not like crazy pigmented because you know, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup, so she doesn't want anything bold. So I thought that one might be kind of fun. Um, and this one is the Glamour Glitch. So like I said, I'm keeping the Glitch palette. I really like that one. And I like this one too, but I just feel like I have these shades. And again, this formula, it's a bit more on the subtle side. So I think for my mom, it would be a good palette to give her because the shimmers, they are shimmers. They're not like these foiled metallic glittery shadows. I don't think she'd really like that. So again, I'm like, I like this palette, but I have these shades, very pretty like peaches and like this orange. It's a really good palette, but I just, I haven't used this at all this year, like at all. And I don't even know the last time I used it. Maybe it was like a year ago. So. Yeah, again, there's just really no point in keeping that one around. All right, so the last item. So I'm only getting rid of six items here, two single eyeshadows and four palettes. I know, not a major declutter, but that's okay. I don't like to declutter just to declutter. That doesn't make sense to me. So anyway, this is the Illamasqua Movement Artistry Palette. This actually is a really, really nice palette, and I did get this in PR last year. I just haven't used it at all this year, like at all. And this is one where again, I feel like I have these colors many times over in my collection. A lot of browns, there's like this pop of purple and green, but the rest is really, really neutral. Again, the formula is good on this palette, but I haven't used it at all this year. So it's like, what's the point? And again, this is one where it's not a super intense, like metallic intense formula. So again, I wanna give this to my mom too because it's more subtle, but these blend really easily. So yeah, I just, there's no point. <laughs> I'm, I haven't used this at all this year and I've been trying to think of other palettes that I haven't used yet this year. There's a few palettes that I really, really love that I haven't used yet this year and I really like need to do that. So yeah, after this declutter, I will have 87 palettes in my collection and then two eyeshadows in a little pot like this. And that's my entire palette collection or my entire eyeshadow collection, which is a lot. I know 87 palettes is a lot, but I'm really, really happy with how well I've done on my low buy. I feel like that is the most important thing. Six palettes I know is still a lot to have purchased in a year, but just like comparing to myself from last year and even the year before when I was on a low buy in 2019, it was like a budget-based low buy. And I counted, I looked back and I did buy 17 palettes on my low buy that year. So that's kind of a lot. So I'm, I'm really happy I've reined in the purchasing. I think that that's the most important. And I think the Mint to Be palette, I don't think my mom would wear that, but I think this one and then the two Ofer ones, I think will be good to give her because they're more on the subtle side. They're easy to work with. So yeah, I just thought that would be fun. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to give this to anybody. I'm sorry. I mean, if this crease is on me, my mother has like more lines on her eyes than I do. I guarantee it'll crease on her too. So there's just, no point messing around with that. This is the only thing I'm sad. I gotta say, I mean, I've been so careful with my purchases on my low buy this year. This is the only thing I've bought on my entire low buy that I just it didn't work out for me. Everything else I bought, I loved. The other stuff from Believe Beauty, their blush and their foundation and their mascara are so good. So, you know, it happens. Sometimes things just don't work out, but I'm not gonna try to bend over backwards to make that eyeshadow work when I have beautiful palettes in my collection. So that is it for this video. Let us know, have you decluttered anything lately? I am just, 
I'm focusing really hard on my low buy and it's September and I've done well all year. So I'm pretty proud of that. If you wanna see the other declutter videos that I've done in the last few months, I will link those in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.